Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we are going to make conductive ink or conductive paint. In one of our previous video I made a conductive paint and it was a very nice, very good conductive paint. But after that I've just improved a new method to make conductive paint and conductive ink. Uh, in this video, the conductive paint that we are going to do is not only the best the conductive paint, it's also uh, much, much better than the commercial uh, conductive paint or conductive ink that you can buy on internet. But, you know, these uh, conductive paints and, con and conductive inks are very, very expensive that you are, when you want to uh, buy one of them, it's very uh, expensive. But the conductive paint that we are going to do in this video will be very, very efficient, very nice, uh, very low internal resistant con uh, conductive paint and it is uh, very cheap, very easy to make. So after watching this video, you can make your own conductive ink or conductive paint. So I recommend you to watch the video step by step. Don't skip any part of the video. Okay, let's start. First of all, I have a glass here. I've just put uh, 50 milliliters of deionized water. You can also use distilled water. I've just put uh, 50 milliliters of deionized water and I'm just going to put some sodium silicate. I have sodium silicate here for uh, 50 milliliters of uh, uh, deionized water. I will just put uh, 4 milliliter of uh, sodium silicate. 4 milliliter will be enough my friends okay just a little bit more okay just uh, four milliliter of sodium silicate I will put okay, that's enough I'm going to use sodium silicate as a binder it's a good binder for conductive ink or conductive paint now I'm going to give a stir to dissolve the um, sodium silicate into the water. Now I am going to put uh, this material. What is this material? This is uh, waterproofing paint. You can uh, buy this material on internet, but don't worry about that. If you don't have this material, you don't have to really use this material into this. I will just put this material, this paint, uh, into the mixing in order to giving uh, plasticize the conductive paint. If, if I put uh, this material into the ink, it will be just a little bit plasticized. If you don't have this material, you don't have to use this, but as I have, I will just use uh, a very little bit of this waterproofing material to plasticize my um, conductive paint or conductive ink just a little bit and give it a stir again not too much stirring process is very important you have to stir it very very well now my friends we came to the most important part as a conductive material, I am going to use black iron oxide. In most of the conductive ink or conductive paint, people use uh, graphite powder or activated carbon. They are good, but the conductivity of this material is much, much better and the particle size is uh, as nanoparticles. So it will disperse in the water better and your conductive ink will be much, much better. So I am going to use um, black iron oxide. Black iron oxide is a conductive material. You can buy on internet, this is um, just like this. This is a material, very uh, fine powder. I will put iron oxide, black iron oxide. I will put and mix until it becomes a slurry uh, form, my friends. Yeah, put some more. Now let's give a stir. Yeah, still we can add some more. 
not saturated. Okay, we'll add some more. Okay, we can still add some more. It's still too watery form, so I will put some more. I think that's enough. Okay, my friends, I need to stir it very, very well. The mixing process is very very important. You have to uh, mix um, your paint very very well, my friends, for about maybe um, half an hour. Now, after sometimes, I'm going to use a mix. I'm going to use a blender to mix it better. Just first of all, I will just mix them. Clean my spoon. See, and I am going to use my small blender to mix the paint very, very well, my friends, for about half an hour. It's a very important process. Okay, my friends, after mixing about half an hour, our conductive paint, conductive ink is ready to use, as you see. It's very nice, very beautiful. Now I'm going to um, use my brush and paint this circuit to make some tests on our conductive paint. As you see, I have two pieces of aluminum foil here and here also two pieces of aluminum foil. The distance between these two one is two centimeters the distance between, the, between these two ones is about uh, five centimeters. Now I am going to paint uh, this aluminum foil and measure the resistance of our conductive paint. And we can see, uh, can we use um, to make electronic circuits and can we light a bulb or run a DC motor uh, with our conductive paint. Okay, my friends, just mix it again with my brush. See the form of our conductive ink. If you want, you can also add some uh, more iron oxide, but I think it's enough. Okay, now I will paint. Okay, let's paint between uh, these two foils. You see just a very thin layer. Momentarily, we are going to measure the uh, resistance of our conductive paint.
Okay, my friends, now I will let it to dry and after uh, my paint is completely dried, I will make some test on it and I will show you the uh, test results, my friends. Now let it to dry. Okay, my friends, our conductive paint is almost completely dried. Now we will test it. First of all, let's measure the resistance of our um, conductive paint. I've just set it my uh, multimeter to resistance mode. And first of all, I will measure uh, this one. Okay. As you see, the resistance is about uh, 16 ohms. Okay, 16 ohms. Uh, the distance between the aluminum foils uh, is um, 5 centimeters, so 16 ohms uh, for 5 centimeters, it means that it is about uh, 3 ohms per centimeter. So it's 3 ohms is uh, pretty good for conductive material, for our conductive paint. It's very nice, it means it's very conductive and um, after our conductive paint is dried a little bit more it will decrease uh, to uh, 2 ohms about 2 ohms now uh, let's measure uh, this one the resistance of this one you see its resistance is uh, about 9.3 9.2 ohms because this uh, layer is a little bit thin, so it's about uh, 9 ohms and uh, 2 centimeters. 9 ohms divided uh, by 2, it's about 4.5 uh, ohms per centimeter. As you see, our conductive paint is very, very conductive. It's uh, very nice, very beautiful uh, conductive material. Now we will make another test on it. Okay, my friends, let's try to light this bulb with uh, my power supply. I have. A power supply here it is uh, 12 volt and I have a bulb here it is also a 12 volt bulb now I will try to light it as you see it can light very well so our material is very conductive now let's with this one See, our bulb is lighter than the first one because the resistance of this one is a little bit less. You see, it's very nice. Uh, let me show you behind the uh, conductive pin. Some people say um, it is fake video, but I choose this material in order to show you the back side of the conductive pin. As you see, there is no uh, another uh, way with metallic way. It's only conductive pin, as you see to aluminum foils and between them is conductive paint nothing else okay now make another test okay at this time i have a lead acid battery one cell lead acid battery it is uh, two volts and i will try to run my small blender with uh, only two volts battery you will see it's only two volt okay You see, can run it because the resistance is very low. Okay. Now let's try with this one. Yeah, it can run, but a little bit slower. Okay, my friends, now make another test. At this time, I have my speaker here. I will just look at the sound of the speaker. Okay. Can you see the sound is pretty high? Let's hit this one. Okay, it's very nice. Now, my friends, I have a surprise for you. I will um, heat this conductive paint with my power supply and try to burn it. Now, it will be fine. It will be entertaining, I think. I will heat it until it's completely burned. 
Okay, I have 12 volt. Uh, I got my 12 volt uh, power supply here. Now I will just apply the current. It will get in hot. As you see, what's happening? You see? Wow, wow, it's melted, my friends. Wow, that's very impressive, huh? Can you see that? Wow, it's pretty impressive. Wow, wow, that's uh, <laughs> very impressive. Now let's do it. Let's do the same thing with this one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's do the same thing with this one. It's getting hot, and after getting hot too much hot, it's melted. It's burned. Okay, you see what's happening. Wow, it start to burn. Can you see the sparks? Wow. Okay. See what's happening when we short circuit it. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Impressive. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Uh, can you see what's happened, my friends? Because our conductive paint is very, very conductive, so it's uh, getting very hot, and this is the result. Okay, we get the end of our video. This is just uh, a surprise for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friends.